walkthrough video of 311157. We're located just off University and Lockwood Ridge. So right down there at the stop sign is Lockwood Ridge. Truck going by. This house it sits on 2.2 acres. It's a big 3,000 square foot house with a tile roof. It has six bedrooms and three and a half baths, if I counted right, and I need to count them again. Um, the property is really beautiful. Uh, I have to say the house is pretty cool. There's a lot of neat features and a few surprising delights. The pool is really nice. Um, big house. It's got a total um, separated guest suite upstairs, two bedrooms and one bath, which would be ideal for any uh, mother-in-law suite or whatnot. So it has a very dramatic kitchen as I first walk in. It's very cool. Um, it's very pretty. I love the granite and the new cabinetry they just did this kitchen it's it's obvious but i can see that originally there was a rounded kitchen here by both the tile and the and on the ceiling the ceiling itself is very cool they did a really neat kind of skip trowel which is very nice the living area has um wood burning fireplace entertainment center it's all very cool i like the stacked stone it looks great um Big, open, great for entertaining. So the way this is laid out, we have the master suite over there. Then we have two bedrooms, actually three bedrooms, and a bathroom over there. Uh, I guess I'll start in the master suite here just to kind of put this all together here. So the master suite is not big, but it is separate from the rest of the house, which is nice. So the split plan, you have two closets here. Um, neither are... This is just a little shoe closet, and then this closet is a, a pretty small walk-in, but decent. This bathroom is, is nice. It has a shower, so the shower has nice tile, and just has a little vanity and toilet. Pretty small for a master bathroom for a house this big. So, but I, I guess I would consider this a master. And then this walks out onto the pool. The pool area is great, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. And I'm not talking about the pool table. There's a pool and a pool table. So two and a half acres allows a lot of flexibility, a lot of, you could do a lot with this property. So this originally was the laundry room. It has 220 hookup. I don't see a washer hookup, but I do see a dryer hookup. But they kind of converted it into a little butler's pantry with, uh, with another sink, cabinetry, and a vent hood. See, that makes me think that maybe they had converted this to a kitchen, or I can't quite figure out, but um, there's an existing vent hood. The AC is right here, and I didn't take a look at, oh, that's newer, very new, looks great. Always happy to see a new AC. So there's a pass-through here in the kitchen, and I like the, um, uh, the, the sink, I, I forget what they call this, the, um, I don't know, farm sink or whatever. But the pass-through is cool, they got a neat tile out there. Originally this house had really wacky colors and a very cool stainless kitchen. It was actually kind of neat. I'm kind of sad to see it go. But then we walk through the kitchen and we have bedroom, the girls' room obviously, good sized bedroom, and it has a nice little bump out. You could actually put, it'd be nice to have a little um, uh, storage with a little window seat there would be nice. Then this is the guest bathroom. This has two sinks and a tub shower. And then we have, I'm gonna guess it's a little boy's room, but is that not the coolest bed you've ever seen? Actually, I really like that bed. I think it's very cool. Um, looking out this window, and, and these are Ja Luis windows that uh, crank out, not my favorite, but that stairway going up goes up to the upstairs apartment. And I will show you that momentarily. This is a bedroom that you kind of pass through, and this has a door that goes out to uh, the upstairs. So there's, that's the pool heater right there, and uh, you can see the pool is, it's got a big, it's a big pool, super big rectangular pool. I think, and it even has a diving board. How about them apples? 
That's a problem with insurance for the record, but okay. I'm gonna go, how am I gonna go? I'll go upstairs. Now this is something I don't like, and I can see they recently framed in this door, but it, it's terrible how, it, I can see why they did it. It comes in, and I have another step there, and it's not just quite finished. But this is the upstairs apartment. It's spacious, it's like a two bedroom, one bath, a little kitchenette here, you got a stove, you got a microwave, you got a sink. I mean, this is its own separate entrance. What a great mother-in-law suite, as long as mother-in-law can climb the stairs. But this is, it's a great spot. I like the tile in here in the bathroom. Bedroom number one, it's decent. Lots of windows and you can kind of get a scope of the property here from this, this vantage point. And just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at, we have a pad there for boats and RVs. You have a, a two car garage and then like a workshop area. You got a little gazebo over there. And you can just see how far this, this property extends. Way over there. Very cool. So, this is bedroom number one. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's got a, I believe it's laminate flooring recently put in. A um, few issues from humidity up here. I can see just the, probably should scrape the popcorn off the, off the ceiling anyway. There are window units, even though there's central air. And it uh, looks like they either patch or were thinking about painting or doing something. But this is a great two bedroom, two bedroom apartment separate completely from the house and I can see they added that doorway I don't know why they did that I'm gonna go down before I I'm gonna take a peek out here this is the main entrance to this unit here so here you can see this is the entrance way and the roof looks really good it looks to be in very good condition tile roof barrel tile I, I like it very nice trees it's a cool property. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. We saw one, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms. And now I'm going to show you the garage. And then we'll go out to the pool. So the garage is huge. And they've got these two ginormous, like, end of the world zombie apocalypse type vehicles, which are. I'm gonna say they're awesome, actually. Look at those things. That's crazy. They have tires, you get all sorts of stuff out here. Um, so they do have the washer and dryer out here. And I like how they actually have two washers and two dryers. Just because, why not? Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of piping going on all over the place here. Hmm. Interesting. I guess the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Let's take a look inside the panel. This is a GE panel. This is uh, not the main pan. This is this must be a sub panel because there's no main breaker, which must come in from somewhere else. But <clears throat> here's that pool area. It's really fabulous. I mean, you got a pool table out here. Lots of Outdoor seating, the pool heater. I, I'm not crazy about the pool heater and the and the pool equipment right here, but it, to be honest with you, having it under under cover will make it last a lot longer. Here's that pass through. This is tile that's been painted. I'm not crazy about the brown, but you know what? It's cool. I don't know what that is over there. Maybe a stage, you know, like karaoke party. But let's check out that diving board. You never see a diving board anymore. That means if there's a diving board, that means it's a nine foot pool. And that is cool in itself. And so this is an awesome pool with a diving board. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, not very insurable. Okay, so swing set over here. Just a really pretty piece of property. Which a tree cut down over there. Kids in the swing set, trampoline. So this is a pretty cool property. I think it's listed uh, 
about 550 just came on the market I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International 941 366 0000 and as always thanks for watching